Hello, Grandma. How are you doing? What are you up to at the moment? I wanted to ask you a favor. Would it be all right if I come over to your place? Today? Why do you want to pay me a visit all of a sudden? What's going on? I'm your granddaughter. It would be great if you could let me come over. Are you in the middle of something? Have you looked outside? It's pouring rain. So you're saying that if it's raining, I won't be able to make it there? That's all right. Rain doesn't bother me. I don't mind it at all. If it's raining, dear, it's difficult to predict what might occur. I don't want you to get hurt, my love. Even if you're being extremely cautious, there's always a chance of an accident with a passing car. People can make mistakes, you know. Even the best of drivers. I'm truly delighted that you want to visit your dear grandma. However, today isn't the most suitable day for it. Let's postpone our plans for another time, all right? No, please, Grandma. I'll be super duper careful. I promise. It's really important for me to come see you today, Grandma. Oh, why is that, dear? It's quite unusual for you to be this eager to visit me. Let's cancel our plans for today and reschedule for a day when the weather is a bit sunnier. I really don't want to stay here, Grandma. I can't stand being around my mother. She's just terrible. I know things will be better with you, Grandma. You've always been so kind and loving. You shouldn't talk about your parents like that. She gave birth to you. You have to respect her. You have no idea, Grandma. Mom is absolutely awful. She keeps me locked up in my room. I can't even go to the bathroom freely. Can you imagine what I've been going through when I can't even use the toilet? She's done what? What's going on, Layla? Did something happen? All I wanted to do was see my friends. Are you sure? Is that really why your mother got angry? You know, Grandma, I have this friend that Mom really dislikes. She found out that we went to the playground together, and I got into so much trouble because of it. What seems to be the issue with your friend, dear? Why wouldn't your mom allow you to spend time with them? The reason is incredibly silly, Grandma. It's all because her family doesn't have much money. Mom told me I'm not supposed to be friends with poor people. She's my best friend and I love her so much. I even consider her my family. I see. That's not very fair. Grandma, please be honest with me. Have I done something wrong? My friend doesn't deserve all this negativity. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you, Layla, my dear. People should never judge one another based on their income or wealth, regardless of whether someone are rich or poor. We should treat everyone with equality and respect. You are free to make as many friends as you desire, and they can be from any background you choose. She doesn't even care about what I have to say, Grandma. Whenever we disagree, she goes completely ballistic and starts yelling at me. Be honest with me, Layla. Does she physically harm you? This is a serious matter, and I'm grateful that you shared it with me. Grandma, I can't take it anymore. I really need your help. She's been telling me to stay locked up in my room indefinitely. She frightens me and I have no idea what she might do. For how long does she confine you to your room, dear? I can't believe that I wasn't aware of this before. For as long as she possibly can, Grandma. From the crack of dawn until late at night. Whenever she catches me trying to sneak out on my own, she becomes furious. I've even tried using the excuse of needing to use the bathroom, but she gets angry with me. I understand, Layla. Thank you for sharing this with me. Allow me to have a conversation with your mother. I won't allow this to continue to happen to you, my dear. Daisy, are you doing anything at the moment? I have an important matter I need to discuss with you. Hey, Mom. What is it? I'm a little busy. You've already finished work, right? Your daughter came to me absolutely distraught. She says you've been abusing her in all sorts of ways. What are you saying, Mom? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play stupid with me, Daisy. This is serious. What has that little brat been telling you? What is she saying that I did to her? She's been playing up quite a lot recently. Tell me if this is true. Don't lie to me. Have you been locking her in her room? Have you been hitting her? She's only a little girl. Tell me you aren't treating her this way. She says she doesn't want to live there anymore. Why is this happening? Really? Now she is talking to you? Don't take any notice of what she says. She's over-exaggerating. 
a lot. Everything I'm doing is just discipline. I'm not abusing her. Don't make a big deal out of this, please. Just go back to whatever you were doing, Mom. What do you mean, discipline? You've been locking her away without letting her go to the toilet. This is beyond discipline. This is cruelty. How dare you do this to your own daughter? That girl doesn't listen to what I say. So what am I meant to do? You have no idea what it's been like. Don't interfere with my parenting, Mom. This has nothing to do with you. How can you say this has nothing to do with me? I'm her family. Layla is my granddaughter. I care about her. Furthermore, she appealed for my help. I won't just let her down. I cannot believe that girl. She would go so far as to message you? Just leave us alone. She's my child, not yours. I don't need your interference. Daisy, do you remember a day that I raised my fist to you? Do you think just because a child shows a little bit of rebellion that you should just lock her away in a room? Who told you it was okay to discipline a child that way? You would have never have learned it from me. Layla is a totally different person to who I used to be, Mother. She won't listen to one word I say. For a child of this disposition, you have to up the intensity of the discipline. What are you saying? That is nonsense. Layla is a hundred times more well-behaved than you were. There is no need to give her this unnecessary discipline. Treat your daughter with care and kindness. Well-behaved? In what way is she well-behaved, Mother? You have no idea what type of child she is, the type of thing she does. Surely you remember when you were a child, all you would do is cause problems. Don't tell me you forgot. That's not true. I was a good girl. No, you certainly were not. Do you remember hitting your friends or stealing my things? The countless times you hurt other people. Do you remember how many times I was called to the school? I was constantly there to discuss your bad behavior. That wasn't my fault. I was forced to do those things because the people around me were messing with me. I wasn't the problem. You're my mother. I wish you knew that. You have a point, Daisy. It was not your fault. It was my discipline, your father's as well. He was too lenient with you and spoiled you too much. If I didn't have such a nice father, I don't know how I would have put up with such an annoying, nagging mother. You were born when your father and I were already older. His heart had softened at that point. Thanks to us being so lenient on you, you've turned into an arrogant and selfish human being. Your father and I are at fault for that. I'm sorry we failed at molding you into an acceptable member of society. You're saying a lot of horrible things, Mother. Don't you feel guilty? You are my daughter, so I have to tell you the truth. This is a warning, and you should only need one. If you don't regret what you're doing to Layla now, you're going to regret it later. Please change the way you're raising your daughter. Are you seriously trying to lecture me? Do you know how long I have been a mother? Give me a break, Mom. I'm too old for you to lecture. Your daughter is not an object that you own. She is a human being. Not only that, she is almost in middle school. She is at an age where she is able to make most decisions on her own. You don't need to control her anymore. She is still a child. It's way too early to just let her off into the woods. What would happen if I let her do what she wants? Then, later down the track, she makes a blunder that affects her for the rest of her life. At the start of spring, the school has club activities for students to participate in. If she joins one of these clubs, she will be interacting with many other students as well. All you have to do as a parent is to protect her if something were to happen to her. She can choose her friends for herself. She is able to judge another person's character at this age. No, Mom. That won't do. That girl won't be able to do anything on her own. She is useless. If I don't help her, she will lose her way in life. She will need her mother's directions until the day I die. Are you just going to ignore Layla's wishes? What kind of parent are you? She's already a fully grown human being. She is conscious of who she is and what she wants. Be real. I know what you are after, Mom. You are all alone and want to take Layla from me, right? I have no words for that. 
Why would I ever need to do that? I care about my family. I thought it was strange that Layla always wanted to see you. Just how long have you been manipulating Layla? I know you've been trying to turn her against me. Well, I won't let that happen. You won't take my daughter from me. Get over yourself, Daisy. I'm starting to worry about you. You're acting very delusional. This isn't the girl I have raised. It's not normal. I think you should go to the hospital. You need help. Don't treat me like I'm some broken person. You are so old-fashioned, Mom. You couldn't possibly understand how people raise their kids in the modern era. Leave me alone. I'm sick of you putting me down. If you won't listen to what I have to say, I'll have to talk to your husband. This isn't about you. This is about my granddaughter. Stop trying to jeopardize everything. Dealing with you is the worst thing I have to do in this world. I wouldn't care if you died, you old hag. Stay away from my family. I can't believe this has happened. Is it true? I refuse to believe that you aren't here anymore. How could it come to this? My grandmother is dead. What? What on earth are you saying? What a horrible thing to say. I'm still very much alive and kicking. Huh? You're still alive? Is that really you, Grandma? I thought you were dead. Of course I'm still alive. Where did you get this idea that I was dead? That's preposterous. That's because, you know... Hold on, I have no idea what is going on. I'm so confused. I'm the one that's confused. Why did you assume I was dead? I need to know. Well, you see, this morning I went to your house. You know how much I want to leave this place. I need to get away from my mother. When I got there, you were nowhere to be found. I was so worried. I was out doing the shopping. You shouldn't assume I just died because you didn't see me. That's not it, Grandma. My mom found out where I was. When she saw what is going on, she told me that you had died. She said there was no use worrying about my grandma anymore. I should just forget that you ever existed. What is that woman spouting? You actually believe that? I'm a little bit hurt, Layla. You don't understand. I tried to call and you didn't answer. It made sense to me. It's fine. I understand. You're just a child. I won't get angry at you because you believe your mother's lies. It's not your fault. The reason I didn't answer the phone was because I was at my friend's funeral. That's fine. I'm just glad that my awesome grandma is still alive. You don't know how much I cry, thinking I could never see you again. This is the best news I've had all day. Don't worry, child. I'll live long enough for you to get annoyed with it. I still have a couple more years left in me. I would never get annoyed being around you, Grandma. I want to be with you forever. You are the only person that cares about me. I understand, Layla. You're a lovely girl. Why would my mom lie? Did something happen between you two? I hope she won't ban me from seeing you. I don't know what I would do with them. Just leave this to Grandma. I'll find some way to get through this. I'm still your mother's mom. Oh, really? You always have my back, Grandma. Just from the look of things, you might have to move out of your home. Would you be fine with that? Of course. I was expecting that from the start. I will be if I'm with you, my dear. I know you hate me, Daisy, but you have gone too far now. You told your daughter that her grandmother was dead. That is low. Is that how much you want to tear her away from me? I only want what's best for her. Oopsie. You found out. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. It was a little lie. But I wish it was true. Oopsie. You think this is funny? I am your mother. You don't speak to me that way. You are the villain here. You have no right to tell me how to raise my child. Your parenting days are done. You should just stay quiet like your husband in the grave. Better yet, join him. I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm not as nice as your father was. I do have something to say about the way you raise your daughter. I won't accept it. You really are bold, aren't you? You don't have to go out of your way to do this. I can't wait for you to just drop dead already. 
I've been waiting for so long. I warned you, Daisy. You have to change your attitude towards Layla. Despite that, you do not show the slightest inclination to change your ways. I need to take a different approach, which is why I want her to live with me. What is there to change? I know I'm a good mother. There is nothing wrong with the way I raise my child. If only more parents raise their children like me. I had a feeling you would say that, which is why I have to do what I didn't want to do. My neighbor is working in child protection services. I've told him about what you've been doing to Layla, and it's being reported to the authorities. What have you done? Why would you do that? I did what I had to do, and to further secure my granddaughter's safety, I've even told the school. Everyone knows what you've been doing. Look at my great mother, ruining my life again. I hate you. You can talk all you want, but it won't serve you any good. I'll be taking Layla with me now. You can't hurt her anymore. On whose authority can you just take my daughter? This is kidnapping. Don't take my daughter away from me. I birthed her. I raised her. You are under the impression that you have been raising your daughter well. Do you realize you are raising her in the worst way possible? To torture a child that way? You failed to support her. Mother her. I'll never let go of that girl. She is all I have. By the way, don't think you've won this battle. I'll sue you for stealing my daughter away from me. My husband will know about this too. He has connections and he will help me get my daughter back. I've already contacted your husband. He agrees with what I've said and done. Well, that saves me the trouble. Thank you, mother. I'm suing you. My husband studied law and he made lots of friends while he was in university. Get ready to pay me a lot of money, mother. Do you really think your husband is on your side? I'm sorry to tell you this, but your husband is divorcing you. Excuse me? What did you think your husband was doing while you were abusing his daughter? Did you think he was happy with that? He was so angry that he gave me a phone call. He feels ashamed that he left all the child raising to you. He should have taken more time off work to raise his daughter. Raising her is my job. That's what I live for every day. Let's look at how well you've done your job. You've abused her and made her scared to come home. She wants to live with her grandmother. Anderson agrees with me on everything. You're saying he just obediently listens to you? I know my husband. He always does what I ask. Don't try and turn my family against me. Your husband didn't realize what was happening to his daughter. He was furious. When I told him what Layla was experiencing daily, he couldn't believe it. He's failed as a father. After all this time, who are you to care about what we do now? You never bothered us before with how we raise our child. That's right, my daughter. Layla felt like she couldn't rely on her own father to protect her. Anderson is regretting the last few years he was unable to interact with his daughter. He's doing the right thing as a father and is divorcing you so he can protect his daughter from your abusive ways. Ha! Huh, look at you. All smug and upright. You schemed behind my back with my husband? How dare you manipulate my husband, you old hag? It was my duty to tell him what happened, but this is all beside the point. This is what Layla has wanted all along. This whole time she's been telling me she's scared of you and wants to get away from you. No daughter should say that about their own mother. What do you think is going to happen when my husband divorces me and takes my child away from me? The man has no experience raising children. He could barely change a diaper when she was a baby. Don't worry about that. He has me, a grandma with a lifetime of experience raising children. While your husband is away at work, I'll be looking after her. After all, your daughter is saying she wants to spend more time with me. I'm doing my duty as a grandmother. What can someone as old and incapable as you do to raise children? You'll be dead by next year. Not only that, both Anderson and I work. And if we split, our income will also be split. You won't be able to raise her on your own. You need my money. Don't think I haven't thought this through. I've prepared for some things like this. I've been able to get extra assistance and some money for her schooling and living expenses. What is this assistance you're talking about? Do you think some meager pension is enough to support her? What do you think I've been doing these past years? I have plenty of time and plenty of money. 
do you have money? Despite being a miserable, old, incapable hag? Don't tell me. Is this some secret fortune you've been hiding from everyone? That's right. This is money I inherited from my parents. There is enough here to support her until she becomes an adult. We have nothing to worry about. Is that so? How come this is the first time I'm hearing about it? Why did you hide this from me? I know what you're like. You love to waste your money. Don't you remember when you were living on your own? You racked up a huge debt and made me pay for it. What would happen if I told you about the inheritance? You never got rid of your greedy attitude. It would have been gone in a second. Yeah? So? I have a right to that money. Yes, that is true. I hope we were able to use that money before you can inherit it. Sounds like the greedy one here is you, mother. I won't be using this for myself. I hope Layla can use it and build a great future for herself. We have a very different outlook on life, you and I. You've done a good job at destroying your own daughter. Congratulations, mother. You are a disgrace to all mothers. No, that's not true. You are the disgrace. You are a hag. A useless old hag. Say whatever you want, dear. The only person I care about now is my granddaughter. You aren't a child anymore. I expect you to take responsibility for your actions. After that conversation, my daughter and her husband soon divorced. Child Protective Services were informed and they swiftly revoked my daughter's parental rights, granting custody of Layla to her father. Since then, Layla has been visiting me regularly. Her father works late into the night, so she spends most of her time with me. Children can be quite a handful, but it's a real joy. If I step out of the room for a moment, I'll quickly hear her calling my name. But no matter how many times she does, I will always love her as my sweet granddaughter. Being a conversationalist is one of her defying traits. If it weren't for that, I doubt she would enjoy spending time with an old bird like myself. As for me, I occasionally receive messages from her mother. It saddens me that my daughter remains stubborn in her ways. She blames me for her divorce and holds on to bitterness. Each time she does, I feel compelled to teach her a lesson about why things are the way they are. On the other hand, I feel a sense of shame as a mother that I'm still trying to guide my own daughter. However, even at this advanced age, it's my duty to do so. No matter what it takes, I will persuade my daughter to reconsider her perspective. I will continue this mission until the day I pass away. I'm just grateful that my granddaughter Layla is nothing like her terrible mother.